When a tertiary alcohol such as T-butanol reacts with hydrochloric, hydrobromic, or hydroiodic acid, a substitution product is formed. In this particular example, T-butyl chloride in which the chloride has replaced the hydroxyl group of the starter material. The byproduct is water, and the overall process is known as a unimolecular substitution, i.e. the SN1 reaction. In the first step, the hydroxyl group is protonated by the powerful acid to produce a very good leaving group. Loss of a molecule of water gives a tertiary carbocation, which is stabilized by hyperconjugation. This intermediate is flat and easy to attack, allowing the halide nucleophile to approach and form the alkyl halide product. The first step in the process is a fast acid-base reaction in which the hydroxyl of the alcohol is protonated by the powerful acid, thus producing the oxonium species. The second step is rate determining. When the leaving group breaks away from the substrate, a tertiary carbocation is formed, which is stabilized by the nine adjacent beta bonds through hyperconjugation. In the last step, the halide nucleophile attacks the electrophilic carbocation, which is flat and produces the stable 8 electron alkyl halide product in a fast exothermic step. In summary, the reaction between a tertiary alcohol and a powerful halide acid produces a tertiary alkyl halide. It is understood that the rate determining step is the unimolecular formation of a carbocation, which is then trapped by the nucleophilic halide in what is, overall, an SM1 reaction.